Alright, today we're going to go over how to get started in Xtool Creative Space. So you'll open up the application. Um, first thing we need to do is connect the device. So make sure your machine is turned on and go ahead and click that connect device button. The very first time you use your machine, you will need to connect via USB. Um, I have already done that. Um, so once you've done that, you can do uh, connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, so once the machine is connected, we will just go along this right side from top to bottom, working our way through each option. So we're going to choose laser flat because today we're going to be using uh, just a piece of plywood to cut on. Um, come down to the material and you can choose the, the type of material you're going to be using. We're going to be using uh, base wood. So I'll just select that. And then the next thing we need to do is to let the machine calculate the distance from the laser to the material. So come over to the machine and make sure that the laser is on top of the wood. We'll come back over to the computer and we will push this little button right here. And then the machine will just calculate how far the distance is that it needs to cut. Okay, so the next um, little option here is processing path. And I've always just used the auto planning. You can go by layer and then you can choose um, which task you want the machine to do first. I found I haven't done anything too crazy yet, but the uh, couple things I've done, um, I've done um, engraving, scoring, and cutting all on one piece. And it chooses to do the cutting last, which is ideal, um, so that the wood doesn't get moved out of place as it's um, being cut and then you try to engrave and then it's not centered and such. So, so far I found that that's been just fine on auto planning. And so then this laser, laser module position um, is just automatically set to be on and then it will tell you right here what position the laser is in at the moment. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is to mark the processing area. So you're going to click start marking and then you're going to choose what it is that you're doing. So um, in my case, I'm doing a square, so I will just choose rectangle. If you have a circle or um, a pentagon, you can do, or this line option is if you have a unique piece um, that's not, maybe it's a ir irregular piece, you can um, select um, the line option and then create your shape with lines. But we'll just go ahead and do the rectangle. So I'll click that and then push start marking. And then we'll come over to the machine. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your laser and you're going to move it to the very corner of your piece of wood right there. And then you're going to push this little button and that will be your first point. Then you're going to take your laser and bring it to the opposite corner. And then you'll push the button again. And then you'll have this square on your screen and you can push end marking. And then done. And then you have your piece of wood on your uh, screen and then you know where your design can go inside of it. So. For this um, tutorial, we're just going to do something simple. We'll just use um, shapes that are already in here. So let's see, maybe something festive. Um, let's find something Christmassy since it's Christmas time. Um, let's just do one of these little snowflakes. Oh, look at here. There's a little ornament with a snowflake in it. That might be cute. So we're going to take this, and I don't want to make this as big as my whole board. Um, so we'll just do this. And we can take each line or section and make it be a different thing. 
Now it's not letting me choose to see what I would like to do is have this outside part be cut and the inner part just be a score, but it's not letting me select two different options for that. So I'm just going to, I think I want to do something else. So we'll just go back and we'll just find the snowflake by itself. And then we will um, insert a shape, which we'll just do a circle. And you just can create your own circle. to go around it and then um, what we can do is just drag and drop over the top of them and we'll go to this align button and you can align horizontally and then align vertically and then it will center the two things. So for this circle we're going to um, do a cut option because um, we'll cut out that circle. So we'll just do cut and um, I haven't played around too much with the different um, options with the power. I've mostly just kept it 100, but I have noticed a lot of smoke um, burning on it. So I want to play around with that in the future, but I'm just going to leave it at 100 for now. And we'll just do the speed like 15. And then I have learned with experience that I need two passes with this thickness of wood. Um, and then this inner spot, we're just going to do, um, let's just do a score. And that will just basically make a light um, burn around the edges of that snowflake. If we did engrave, then it would fill in all of the snowflake with a burned effect which would be cute, but that will take longer. So I'm just going to do the score for this tutorial. Okay, so we'll just leave, let's see, we'll just leave those options. Uh, I think that'll work. And then we'll come down to the framing. Okay, so we'll just come back over to the machine and you'll just push this button right here. Mm -hmm. And then the machine will go and frame the area that it's going to be using for this cut. So it's just going to be using that little corner right there. So you can just keep an eye on that. And then you'll just come push framing complete right here. And then you'll come down and you're ready to do the project. So you'll just push process. And I'll bring up this other screen that's kind of a preview of what's going to be cutting and then you push start. Make sure you cut, shut the lid first. Okay, my lid's shut now, so we'll try again. Then you'll come back over to the machine and just push start, and then it will get started. You can really see through there.
So here we have our finished project. Just move that laser back out of the way. And we've got our little snowflake. Now if I would have been smart, I would have made a little um, hole for it to hang as an ornament or something, but I didn't. But it's pretty quick and easy to do. Um, so you can see along the edge here, there is a little bit of burning. Um, this is just created from the heat and the smoke that comes off of uh, the laser and the cutting process. Um, there is a tool that you can use um, and add to your machine. It's called Air Assist. Um, so that is something I'm looking to get into the in the future. Um, and I would like to just test around a few different ways to um, lessen that effect. Um, maybe trying lesser power and doing more passes. I don't know if that will work, but that's kind of my thoughts. But it's a pretty cute little project. Um, pretty easy to do.